In this video here, we're gonna take a look at the Optic 365 dataset. This is a huge dataset that can be used to pre-train YOLO models. It's pretty much just as Coco, we just have more classes. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can use it, directly download from Model Analytics, play around with it, and also how we can train our models. This is a really good data set if you want to train models from scratch. Sometimes you can even get better performance when you do fine tuning with pre-trained models that has been trained on the Optic 365 data set. So it's really important to know, but also just what classes are available inside the data set out of the box. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If we go inside the datasets tab at the top, we can see all the datasets that is available with Autolytics out of the box. You don't have to do anything, then just take the data YAML file and you will be able to download the dataset automatically. So we have the detection dataset, segmentation dataset, post estimation datasets, classification, and also RNA bounding boxes. So if you just go down here, we should have it up here at detections. So we see optics. 365. There's also the Coco dataset, which the models are pre trained one as well. But this is a really nice dataset where we have 365 optic categories compared to the 80 classes from the Coco dataset. So you get way more predictions out of the box, way more classes if you don't want to fine tune it and just want to grab a pre trained model and use that for your applications and projects. But sometimes it also generalizes better if you fine tune the models after you have pre trained them on the optic. 365 data set. So this is a large scale, high quality data set, pretty much one of the largest out there. Again, the same as the Cobra data sets, really good for pre training. 2 million images across 365 optic categories with over 30 million bounding boxes. So that's a ton of classes, ton of images, and so on. So the data set includes diverse objects in various scenarios. We're going to take a look at what classes are act like in there. And we can also see that Optic 365 models, as I already mentioned, the pre trained models, they significantly outperform the ImageNet pre trained models. So it generalizes better on different tasks, as I mentioned, but the YOLO models are pre trained on the Coco data set. So that's not the, Image, the ImageNet data set, but this is still a pretty awesome one. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see we have our data set. YAML file, which is pretty much what we need to use, no matter if you use a pre trained model, our own custom tuned model, like you can use your own data set in the exact same way. We have tons of videos already covering that. So let's take a look at some of the classes here. We have our path to our data set, so this is the root directory. We have a train, test, and validation split. Now we can see all the classes that we have. So 365, we won't be able to go through those, but we have the most common ones as we have in the Coco data set as well. Person, sneakers, chair, other shoes, hat, car, lamp, glasses, bottle. So you can go in here if you have a custom use case that you want to try to solve, you can go in and search for it. Let's for example, see if we want um, a monitor. Let's try to see if we can find that. Monitor slash TV, there, class 37. And again, we can basically just scroll through them and see we have skateboard, elephant. It's basically just all these nouns and different classes that we can have in anywhere. Like it could be anywhere. We have airplanes, we have mouse, we have train. It could be some very, very cool use cases around that. We have baseball, glove, banana. It's in all different categories and variations out there. Here we can see how we can use the example, as I'm going to show you in just a second in a Google Colab notebook. We have sample data annotations, so it's just images from any area, any field, any image that you can imagine. It's basically pretty much just the whole world in images with 365 classes and 30 million bounding boxes. So you can see the variability, all different edge cases, all different situations. That's why it's so good to train a base model on and then fine tune it on your own custom data set. You can do that with Autolytics as well in the exact same way here after you have pre-trained your model and this is exactly how we can do it. So let's now just grab this line of code. We can also just, or the command line, we can also go in and take the Python script. We can specify all these different arguments. So we have data, epoch, image size, batch size that we want to use and so on. If you go inside our task tab and we go inside the train, you'll be able to see all the different arguments that we have down here at the bottom. All these ones, epoch as I mentioned, image size, batch size, all of these can be set inside this function. So let's now open up a Google Colab notebook. You can use the free GPU resources available in there. We're just going to grab a new from scratch. Again, this is a 2 million 
a med data set, so it's going to take very long to train. You definitely need some very hardcore DPUs if you want to do a base model pre-training all the way from random initialized weights. So when we do pre-training, we just initialize the weights, pretty much just random, and then we train our models from scratch, try to learn all the features in the earlier layers. If we do fine tuning, we already have a base model that has learned all the features and everything, and then we just fine tune it to our own specific data set. So when we use the models, they already have learned weights and not just random weights, and pre-training takes significantly longer compared to fine tuning. So let's go up inside the runtime type. Let's just grab an L4, go in here. First of all, we need to pip install Autolytics. That's the only thing that we need. The rest is taken care of both with Autolytics, but also in a Google Colab notebook. So let's pip install Autolytics. There we go. It's gonna connect automatically to the NVIDIA L4 DPU. We're going to grab a YOLO 11 nano model, and then we can call the model.train. We specify the data set. So any data set that you can find on the Autolytics documentation, you can just specify the YAML file here and it's automatically going to download it, train it for epochs. Right now, let's just grab two epochs just for demonstration purposes, image size 640. Alpha is done here. Pretty much all we have to do, we can also just separate out these two. So first of all, we import YOLO, create an instance of our model, and then down here, we can start the training. Then we'll see all the training metrics and everything. This is just to demonstrate how we can grab a data set. But also this data set here, because it's important to know, it's important to know all the classes. The most important is probably to know how can you pre-train it and also what classes are available directly out of the box. Because there could be a use case where you can't find data for, or it's hard to generate a lot of data, like thousands of images of data to fine tune your own model. The class is not supported with the Cobra data set out of the box. Then you can go in and grab the Optics 365 data set or a model trained on that. Should be done here in just a few seconds. Just take like 20, 30 seconds to install all the CUDA related stuff, the Autolytics, the whole framework and library. We create an instance that should take a few seconds and then we train the model after. There we go. Create an instance of our model and then we're going to train it. We see that the images are not found, so it's automatically going to basically just download it. See, it's 1.24 gigabytes, so it's going to take like one minute here to download the whole data set, but that's still pretty fast compared to its 2 million images. Once it's done downloading the data set, it's basically just going to load it in, start the training over and over. This is how you can use it with Autolytics pretty much out of the box. You can specify any data set, learn the classes in there, use them in your own applications and projects because they cover a lot more, like 280 classes more compared to the Cobra data set. Of course, the performance is not going to be the best of the best, so if you can find it with Cobra data set, pre trained model out of the box, definitely stick for that. But if you can't find it, the Object 365 data set is a very good data set. Even if you want to do a full train from scratch, train it on this data set and then fine tune on your own data set as well. This is some pretty, pretty cool stuff just to test out, try it out on yourself. This is only a few lines of code. Hope you learned on this video here. Check it out and then I'll see you guys in the next video.